Sid Owen, Dawn French and Paul O'Grady. The Perfect Three, live at five. First, it's Mr Nice Guy Noel and Mr Nasty at the other end of the line in Deal or No Deal on four. Twenty-two identical sealed boxes, in one of which is a quarter of a million pounds. And just one question. Deal or no deal? Welcome. The start of a new week. Yes. And we've got some great characters here. We've got some amazing people. I've got to say, I have really, really been enjoying the games recently. On Saturday, we had, uh, I think, a very weird game. Yeah. Terry came out here and suddenly decided it wasn't his lucky day. As it turned out, he was absolutely right. Because he went with £10,000, but he should have stayed. He could have got £21,000. Then he could have got £25,000. So, for a little bit of a different reason, it really wasn't his lucky day. I would love someone to get the life-changing money. A quarter of a million pounds. Here come the names. Please, please, please keep your nerve and prove it is your lucky day. Debs. <laughs> Debs, it's now your turn to take the walk of wealth. Welcome to your game. Thank you. Debs Wells from Liverpool. Yeah. Full-time carer for your son. Yes. Tell me that story. John was born with a very rare syndrome called orofacial digital syndrome. But there's only about a hundred worldwide of this syndrome. He's disabled, he's got severe learning difficulties, and the list goes on. Really? So he's got quite a lot of problems, but he's never, never sort of Never down. I mean, he's been in and out of hospital throughout his life. And he's always got a smile on his face. So, he's quite rare and he's quite unique, but I wouldn't change him for the world. How old is him. he? He's 18 today. Is he? <laughs> <laughs> so, happy 18th, John. <laughs> what have you brought along here? These are pictures of my two children. And my daughter made this little box because I asked her to pick numbers to one, one to twenty-two, and she picked that number. What's in it? I don't know. <laughs> what do you mean? You so don't what know? could she put a little note in? I don't know. Yeah. So it says, "Good luck, Mum. Please win much to take me and John to Disneyland. Love you." <laughs> <laughs> so this is my son, John. Eighteen today. Happy birthday, John. Smiley one lid. And this is my lovely daughter, Abby. And she's 12. So I want as much as I can to get them to that Disney because I'd love to take them to um, be able to swim with dolphins because they sense that feeling with like special mm. needs kids, don't they? And I'd love to do that. Of course, this man here is only interested in whether or not uh, you're a lucky person and what your attitude is to risk. Well, he mentioned in one of the games that he was a tourist. Taurus the bull is star sign, and I'm sorry, but I'm going to grab him by his horns and take him down. Ooh. I'm going to like me now. <laughs> I think you've just got more attractive to him. <laughs> <laughs> he likes that kind of challenge, I can tell you. 
And then I love this story. How lucky you were when you uh, bought an old teapot and a magazine at a charity shop. This is, this oh, is a great yeah, story. Yeah, yeah. I think we were on holiday somewhere and we were walking down these little narrow streets to have these curiosity shops. So I said to my mum, um, oh look, there's a lovely little teapot there, my auntie collects teapots. So we, it was only about, I think it was 50p. So I said, oh, I'll go and get it. The teapot, so it goes inside gives her the 50 pence and as she's wrapping it up I get a magazine for 20p. I open the magazine and the crossword's been done in the magazine and it was one of those where you can win money crosswords so I just fills in my name and address at the bottom and sends it off. <laughs> so sends off this uh, crossword anyway. Another week passes and he goes home, goes to the kitchen, washes the teapot, opens the lid, envelope inside, £375 <laughs> in this teapot for 50p. And then there was an envelope on the floor. And I was won £500 for the crossword competition. <laughs> so all together, 70 pence, and I got £875 retained. So that wasn't bad, was it? <laughs> Where's this shop? I think <laughs> we'll all be around there. Yeah, great. So you're a lucky lady. Well, I hope so. OK, before we tramp on, I need you to confirm, please, that you chose box number 11 at random before the game. I did. It is sealed by the independent adjudicator who seals all of the boxes and is the only person who knows where the money is. That's it, Debs. Really, really want you to do well. You've personalised the game. We now know why you want the money. Yeah. Therefore, we are all 100% behind you. Debs, good luck. Two. You're first in, Maggie. How are you today? I'm fine. I've recharged my batteries. Have you? Draining. <laughs> <laughs> Where we go. Go on, make it blue. Oh. 15,000. Oh, mine. Mine. Get one out the way. Come on. <laughs> Stretch me legs. <laughs> so different up here. Yeah, Johnny looks rough up here, doesn't he? He does, yeah. <laughs> you want to go close up to him? The stuff moving around there that even David Attenborough hasn't seen. <laughs> I'm drawn to Kerry. 14, yeah, Kerry. Kerry, it's only her second game and we're drawn to her. Six, Joe. Okay, Joe. Good luck, Debs. Okay, thank you. Ooh. One of the power five has gone. I don't want to touch them. Stuart, number four. I made a little ditty for you, okay? Oh, go on then. If this is a blue, you could be feeling swell. But if it's a red, the second word might be hell. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> oh. Oh, yep, wow. that's exactly the expression we are now thinking. <laughs> Jules, I'm going to carry it on. 13. You're a lovely person, Debs, and I hope it's a blue for you. Mm. Five Bit of a red opening. Hello. Two of the Power Five gone, and the big influencer has been discovered. So, no, it is not in box 11. Hello. You are, just, you are odious sometimes. He's going on. Oh, what a wonderful way to start the week. Wonderful way to start the show. Four reds and Stuart. Long way to go. <laughs> Did you hear that? No. What did he say? Uh, he said, Debs is in the chair, and then this is the noise he made.
Yeah, yeah, I think you missed the target there, mate. I am aware you do undercover work at the hotel, yes. Ah, in Deb's case, it's been a real pleasure, has it? Have you brought a book with you to the hotel? <laughs> That wasn't convincing, was it? <laughs> what have you got on her? Go on, you can tell me. Go on, tell me. Go on, go on, go on. Obviously, this won't go any further yeah. than the three of us. The accusation, Debs, is that you brought a book with you for your stay at the hotel. Mm -hmm. And the book you chose to bring was the Karma Sutra. <laughs> Not at all. I made that all. And the further allegation is you're quite a way through the pages. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> as a result of this, the banker is saying, in this game, he's not too sure which one of you is going to end up on top. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> right. OK. How much did you manage to get uh, following your visit to the shop? £875. £875. He is worried that he could be very much in the role of the shopkeeper in this game. Right. And that he could end up paying you a lot of money for something that is very low value indeed. He was actually saying he thinks there's 50p in your box. The opening offer is £875. With six in front of it. £6,875. No! <laughs> £6,875. Deal or no deal? No deal. Yeah. <laughs> right, blues now. All blue around, please. Yeah. Blue round. Hayley, number 10. Hayley! Hayley, Hayley, Hayley. Have you had any of your deep thoughts? <laughs> no, I haven't got any deep thoughts. E exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. be blue. It has got to be blue. Yep. Tony, a... number 17. Tony, blue. on a whole blue round. Blue. Yeah. 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 Patricia, number five. Patricia, open box number five. Dibs. After the break. Oh. Uh -huh. She needs the big money, she wants the big money, she's still on course to get some big money, even though we have lost the quarter of a million pounds. We are going to break the banker's heart in a moment by revealing your fiancé, John. I think it would be a good idea if you upset him. What are you doing that for? <laughs> I think it would be a good idea if we upset him even more with box number five. 
What are you doing with that? Because I keep going to say something and I don't get me tapped for things. Oh, it's right. Go on, say something. Well, just to say, wish you all the very best and I really hope it's a blue. I hope I don't let you learn, darling. OK, here we go. Here we go. Make it blue. One all blue round. No! Not bad, not bad. But it's OK. John, what do you think of the game? Mm, it's a bit indifferent, isn't it? But there's still plenty of money left. 100,000 there. A bit indifferent. I think I've sussed your system. <laughs> but only after you told yeah. me during the break. <laughs> Everyone else has realised what she's doing, and I, I hadn't got it at all. Although the system falls down in a moment if you decide to go on. Oh, yeah. There's a big hole over there. Oh, yeah. Hello! Skip one and go to the next. Yeah, I realise now. Oh, what didn't you realise? <laughs> yeah, I thought you didn't realise her fiance was sitting there. <laughs> you with your smutty comments. Well, you can't get much better than all blue round, can you? No, it wasn't, was it? <laughs> <laughs> I have not been drinking with Johnny at breakfast. No, I have not. No, I, I've just forgotten that the 3,000 had gone and it's not blue. It was a much improved round uh, of, of a number of different colours. Is that so? Oh, he's doing research into the boxes you've had. All oh, right. Last 10 games, you've had either 10p or one of the power five. All right, OK. Handy to know. You. Well, that factor he is taking very seriously. That statistic is giving him mental unrest, which is why now we still have the £875 that you managed to get out of a crossword and teapot. Yes. But there's a 10 in front of it this Ooh. time. £10,875 for that box. I think there's more. I think there's more. You can ask me the question. I think it's your lucky day. I'm positive. Good. £10,875. Deal or no deal? No deal. Thank you. <laughs> There's a hole. I know there's a hole. But I'm going to go with asthma 15, please. I'm going to miss you so, so you. much. Deb's going to miss you, man. <laughs> you're filthy, you're gorgeous, and you need the money more than most so you can get your roots the right way around. <laughs> I hope it's a blue gorgeous. You've got the nerve to say that when you, when you quite clearly didn't finish dressing before, <laughs> before you came here. I think I look gorgeous today. You look horrendous. <laughs> Pot and kettle spring to man. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it better be blue. Don't don't, don't have it a dream crusher. what we needed another one of my all blue rounds <laughs> the sort that has one little red in it yeah. but he was just too 
Thanks, you little rat. Didn't really mean anything. Very good. Now, after really a rubbish start, yeah. it's now looking very robust. I've got the ball by the horns, Millie. Hooey! Three Not of the power just. five still there. Mm. <laughs> Here come the ball. Here come the ball. Hello. Oh, <laughs> he's going. <laughs> <laughs> you can see Johnny and Ori sitting out there, can't you? With a can of very strong lager. I think he looks fabulous. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Well, they would stick together. <laughs> they would, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it'd be difficult to prize them apart. Right. He's still feeling very confident because, of course, there are four of his power five there and three of yours. 875 pounds with 16,000. It all comes down to you. The fact of the matter is, as the purists will recognise when you've got a solid block at this stage in the game, you're always in a stronger position. There's no guarantees on this show, obviously. You can take all three in the next round. Debs, we're all wishing you well. If, if wishes could bring you luck, we're all with you. We really are. this right at the beginning. He wants to take John to swim with dolphins. The therapeutic benefit that he could bring to your son. And I saw you look at the photograph and it's totally understandable. It's a very difficult decision. It's real money. It can be your money. I just feel that. I don't know. I feel something like this. Yeah. It's not every day you get to sit here. I've got to sit, so ask me the question. 16,875 pounds. Deal or no deal? No deal. <laughs> oh, that wasn't easy, was it? Nope. No. All right, come on, cheer up. I just hope it wasn't silly, but... Okay. I'm gonna stick with the system, Ashley 20. This will be sensational if you can get to the next phone call with those three still intact. It's the block that worries him. Sandra, number 21. Sticking with it? I'm sticking with it. All the best, then. Oh! 50,000, John. Oh. Are you going to break with the system or are you going to go over here? No, I'm going to Glen. I'm staying. You're going to stick with your system? Sticking with the system. I must say, I have to say, in all honesty, knowing your dream and how much you want this for your son, that last no deal was extraordinarily brave. Open the box, Glen. After the break. We are so delicately poised, you will come back.
next one. Yay. Yeah. Glenn, we're sticking with the system. She's been going alternate boxes and we lost the 50,000. We do not want to lose 75 or 100,000. All right, Debs, I haven't known you long, but you're a top lass. Now, there is something we can't get away from here. The influence of the 1P at this point is enormous in terms of the office. If we had kept the 50,000, I think you would have been pleasantly surprised at this point. But you are going to have to brace yourself, Debs. The one thing he's always said to people, whatever story you come with, he is not a charity. Hello. Exactly as I said, great significance on top left. 50,000 going was an enormous bonus for him. He is now offering you for box 11. 16,875. <laughs> he recognized the bravery of the last no deal. John, do you want to come down and just give a bit of advice? I think we're at a crucial stage here. You've got a lifeline here. You've got it a second time. But there's still 100,000 there. No. You didn't make a decision last time. It's getting a bit tense now, isn't it? I've had a lot of time. Do you know what swingsman I were? You said before I, I've only had the ten p, and every time I've had the high numbers, one of the power fives. I think in your life you've dealt with adversity with such positivity and integrity, and I believe you've done exactly the same thing today. And I personally believe that this is probably your time to say thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Anyone else? Debs, darling, he's pulling on your heartstrings here. Definitely. Oof. What do you think? If you were Deal, could you stand up for me? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Cheers! One at the back. <laughs> One at the back. Mm, wow. <laughs> oh. Okay, ask me the question. 16,875 pounds. Deal or no deal? Kind of not 100% happy. It's uh -huh. <laughs> a lot of money. I, just, I feel that's a high one. Yeah. Okay. You've decided to accept for box number 11, 16,875. Come on, Debs. We've got to blow the game apart now. 
Jay. Jay, we need you to whip out 75,000 or 100,000. We don't want any hanging around here. We want to find those two big ones and prove she was never going to win them. No. Oh. Perfect start. If you decided to go on, the start could not have been better. The one P has gone. Clive at nine, yes? Oh, yeah. Sorry. Clive, yeah. open box nine. We now are desperate to see those two big numbers. <gasps> No. Perfection. The round could not have been better at this point. Johnny, it falls to you. Johnny, you have to reveal the 100,000 now. We have to remove it from the game. Confirm you're happy that it's yeah, 19. Johnny, yeah. Not a blue. <laughs> 75 stars. That's better, but oh my word. Now, this is a very, very interesting situation indeed. I would not like to try and guess this offer. Hello. The offer at this stage would have been £20,000 and a teapot. <laughs> OK, you could have had a little bit more. We're going to go again. And we have to find red numbers. Yeah, Dino, 18. Dino, it is you, and we want that 100,000. Yes! <laughs> yes! This is uncanny. Oh. This is so uncanny because the stats say it was either 10p or big numbers. The big numbers have gone. <laughs> Could it be the 10p came to the table all along? Ollie. Yeah? Yeah, Ollie. Please open box 22. I miss you like crazy, Debs. You're a saucy little minx. <laughs> no, oh, it isn't there because it's there. OK, so that destroys that theory. On we go. Yeah, with John. John. Ah, 50p or £10,000 or something in between would have been your lot at this point, Debs, and he would have had to offer £875 <laughs> with a two in front. <laughs> 2875 <laughs> This is where the banker twists and turns. He will try and say to uh, tomorrow's player that actually, you know, you, you could have had 20,000 and you went at 16, 8, 7, 5 and this, that and the other. But the reality is there. You have sold either a £10,000 box or a 50p box for £16,875. How big a bargain did you get? The biggest! Did you pay for the teapot? 50p. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what a bargain. <laughs> oh. I was so terrified <laughs> that you were not going to achieve your dream. And you've got enough money now to do that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. John can go swimming with dolphins. You can go swimming with dolphins, yeah. Fantastic. You're exhausted. <laughs> yeah. But are you happy? Oh, I'm very happy, yeah. Thank okay. you. You are going to be missed. <laughs> oh, these are lovely, lovely guys. I'm, Let's I'm complete the game. Ian, will you please show us 10,000 pounds? 10,000 yeah. was sitting over there.
Good. Very good. Yeah, and on my son's 18th birthday as well. What a result. Thank Debs, you. £16,875. Enjoy that trip. Thank you, no, I will. Well done, Debs. <laughs> we are in an amazing period for Deal or No Deal where we don't have the, the mega money wins. We're not up there at the £7,500 for the moment. But almost every single game, we fulfil someone's dream. That makes me so happy, and I'm certain it makes you feel very, very pleased. And it's one of the many reasons why you'll be back tomorrow. We might do two things. Make someone's dreams come true and prove they are a mega winner. Could be big money tomorrow. See you then. Bye-bye. Up next, Sid Owen and Dawn French, both with Daytime's number one, Paul O'Grady. Maybe? The phone book from BT. When making the right call matters.